Hey, how's it going? I cannot believe how long we've been through this pandemic already. It's been like, what, like three, four months already? So today I came to this really wonderful park just so I can explain why the Mavic 2 Pro was the best decision I've made when it comes to droning. Now I know it's 2020 and the Mavic Air 2 just came out, but I'm telling you, I'm not thinking of downgrading or upgrading anytime soon. So yeah, as a brief history, the first drone I ever used was the Phantom 1. Um, I don't know what to say about it. Um, it. I don't feel like it was the best investment. Um, like literally the battery, you had to slide it in and then connect it. It was like a, like a gray little thing, gray little package. It was the weirdest thing. And then um, the propellers, you had to like not only put them in, but you also had to screw them in from the top. There was like an extra bolt, weirdest thing. Um, and then the camera, I said it in my last video, you had to put a GoPro camera at the bottom of it. And it was just the weirdest thing. Um, you couldn't see your footage until you brought the camera back down and you looked at the GoPro and you would review your footage. It was, it was horrible. Um, so yeah, I felt like I literally threw my money away when it came to that first uh, Phantom drone. One thing I did realize though, if used properly, a drone can be a very powerful tool when it comes to video creation. So I found this really cool acorn. I'm gonna go give it to my munchkin today. So it's really hot today. I had to take off my sweater on my way here. Um, it's really humid, so. It is what it is around here. So before we jump into these comparisons, another powerful tool when it comes to video creation is music. My music comes from epidemicsounds.com. There's a lot of styles, there's a lot of genres, um, there's even sound effects. So if you're looking to add music to your next project, check out epidemicsounds.com. Referral link in the description below. So I just found this other really cool trail. Um, spot I don't know what it is so let's see what's over here and uh, hopefully we don't find any snakes because I hate snakes um, that's pretty cool there's a path down there there's a table down there uh, let's see what else is out here oh look there's a bunny over here pretty cool but there's a table over here too let's go check that out all right, so let's compare the Phantom 3 Advanced to the Mavic 2 Pro. Um, yes, I still have the 3 Advanced. Um, I've been holding it to compare it to the Mavic 2 Pro. Um, I've been holding it in a half shell. Um, I'll show you what that means later. Um, and yeah, I'm sure it's gonna make its way into eBay soon. So let's check that out. So the max flight time on one is 23 minutes versus 31 minutes. One records video at 2K while the other one does 4K. One's a standalone drone while the other one is a folding drone. One has a sensor of 12.4 million pixels while the other one has 20 million pixels. One weighs 1,280 grams while the other one weighs 907 grams. And one has a massive control while the other one has a mini compact control. So aside from the specs, the sensors on the Mavic 2 Pro are incredible compared to the sensors on the Phantom 3 Advance, which has like far fewer on it. I don't need to install the propellers on the Mavic 2 Pro because it already comes pre-installed with them. And I don't need an extra cable for my uh, control to connect to my phone because it already comes with one. I love that it's easy to fold and you can just throw it in your backpack and just go. If you're willing to invest good money in a drone, I suggest the Mavic 2 Pro. Other than that, get the Mavic Air 2. I mean, I hear good things on YouTube, so check it out. And if you have no experience with drones but you wanna get started, get the Mavic Mini. I hear it's cheap and it's also really fun to fly. So before we go, let's read some comments from my last video. Um, so King of Kingdom says, great video, how do you get so good at editing? And happy dare day. Um, 
so first off what is happy dare day i have no idea never heard of that before um so if someone can explain that to me that'd be great and um how did i get so good at editing um well i learned at school um so i started in high school when i was in the video production uh class and then college um you know i took a couple classes on editing there um and then i just practiced i practiced a lot did a lot of videos i mean i've been doing videos for a long time um but um, like I said in my first video, um, I more recently, I, I'm actually I'm about to hit a, a, a year um, doing YouTube videos. Um, but yeah, more recently, um, within this past year, I started doing YouTube videos and just practiced some more, you know, on these videos. So I really enjoy what I'm doing. Tony Mole says, I definitely remember flying the drone in the house. All bad. So that reminds me, I have the footage of the really bad crash. So I'm going to show it to you guys mm, right now. Peace.